Hi guys, I'm doing a quick video. I'm going to try to make this uh, short and sweet and also quiet because my husband's sleeping. But this is how I make my Reiki infused candles. I have a little bit of vegetable oil down at the bottom. And I have tea lights from Walmart. And I take off these metal pieces and I throw the waxes in there. So you, you will see me do that. And you want to make sure that you don't have many in there because it makes a lot of wax. And what I do is I take some wicks from the little tea lights and put them <clears throat> in the containers. And today I'm drinking green tea from my lovely friend. And I'm having this oil put in, chamomile and lavender. Get these from Walmart and I'm putting in some bay leaves that my friend gave me. Again, the white sage. I'm going to be crinkling up here in a minute. And then I'm going to throw in some of this beautiful rose. And I think there's sodialite chips in there. Right there you can see. And that is what I do. So right now, I'm going to start my, start my oven up and let that melt. And then as it's brewing... I start pouring in. Once it melts down, I'll get my spatula here. <clears throat> and I just start mixing it, letting it soak in that oil. Uh, my grandmother from the other side taught me how to do this. If you don't have a double boiler and um, you're kind of using what you got. And it melts down pretty quick if you have it on high. And I'm just infusing Reiki in this. Chuku re, chuku re, say heiki, say heiki. Chuku re, chuku re, say heiki, say heiki. And guys, I'm doing one of these candles for me and one for my grandmother. I think I might end up doing the other one for my mother. I'm gonna have to find a glass and I think I'm gonna put it in this. Make sure the water's out of it. It's cleansed. Okay. And I'll have to get another wick. Which I might just end up putting it in this one. And I make them really small. So I have a big container for a small tea light size. But um, I try to use it like that because it lasts a long time with the oil it burns down slowly with the reiki so that you can get the effects of it and it's supposed to bring whatever i put in there so for Samhain i made some with cinnamon for um money i'm just putting several drops of oils in there and i let it brew it smells amazing. You just got to be really careful when you're making these. It's almost melted down. Okay, so now I'm going to start crunching up some of the white sage here. I just put it in there, sprinkle it in there. <clears throat> I'm trying to do this with one hand, guys. Let me open this up. I'm trying to... And forgive my uh, kitchen, it needs cleaned. <laughs> I'm a working college student. And I run my own business. So that is a busy life. <laughs> um, but I love doing what I do. Put that in there, all of that, and it just simmers down. I'm gonna turn this on low now since it melted the wax. I'm just mixing it around. Okay, and then I'm gonna put some bay leaves in. them up for protection. 
good luck in healing. And just mix it up a little bit more as it's brewing. Okay, guys. And then I'm going <clears> to... <throat> Let me see if I can do this. Okay. <laughs> oh, goodness. That's not going to work. Okay. So, this is what I'm doing. And I'm just taking my knife, cutting it, peeling it, trying to get the wax off the bottom here. I don't want to break my wick, which it does happen. You see that happen, so I'm throwing it in there, letting it melt down a little bit. Wasn't expecting to make three tea light or three candles, but that's what I'm doing. Okay, hopefully this one will work. Okay. Okay, here's the wick. Got it out. I'm gonna put this one in this little glass. Now, Spirit is telling me, guys, to put a dash of cinnamon in there. So I will. Just need to put this back down a minute. Got my cinnamon. And it smells really beautiful. I love it. Put just two or three dashes, really little ones, because it's strong. Just keep mixing it, mixing it. Okay. Mm. Let it boil just a little more, and then I'm going to take it out and pour them. Um, but that's how we really do it. And then I put them in the fridge. I know that sounds really weird, but this is how my grandma said to do it. Um, and what I do is I let them sit there for a while. And then when they're done, I will infuse more Reiki in them and carve in the Reiki symbols and then I set my intention and say a prayer over it but I won't give you the chant or the prayer that I say because that's personal and everyone should do their own um, but that's what I basically do and it's really easy sorry about my chihuahua barking I'm gonna see what she's barking at guys I don't see nothing <laughs> okay so that is what I do. So very carefully, you're just going to pour it in there. You can hear the little <laughs> um, Okay. I'm trying to get some of that herb in there without burning myself. Give me a minute, guys. <clears throat> you want to make sure guys that your wick is not getting drowned in that so you got to make sure you push them up um, make sure it's sticking up fairly good okay you gotta be very 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 careful this is very um can be a challenge but it's worth it in the end um and i'm hoping when when people buy these and i sell them or make them as gifts that i will get more tools to make these with a double boiler and make them bigger make them with bigger uh wax waxes and more colorful waxes and um, better wicks is what I'm trying to say. Okay, guys. And then that is what you're just going to do. Finish up all the herbs in there. And then, like I said, try to 
get the wicks up. Whoops. Trying to find it. <laughs> it's hard to find it in the dark. Okay, let me come over here. And like I said, this can be a challenge, but um, it's really... What matters is your intention and your dedication to it. See, that wig broke off, so that's why you got to be careful. But, okay, Spirit is telling me to make a wax smell out of this since that one's not going. So that one will go to my mom then. And I'm pretty sure I had... Hmm, there we go. I made waxes out of these... This is my wax one. <laughs> so you just, you can make ma a wax melt if your wick won't work. Um, so I will have three of these now. So I can burn on my boiler. And these are going in the freezer and see how cute they look. Okay. It's going right here. That one's going in the freezer. That is the best chicken ever. <laughs> the best chicken pizza ever. Love it. Okay, guys, that was kind of random, but I Spirit said that, you know, open up a little bit, so I'm trying to. Okay, now we got to be careful. We're just going to put them in here. We set it on a flatter surface. This is the waxes I made. These are really cool. These are the Yule ones. The Jesus Yule ones. It smells with lavender, chamomile, myrrh, cinnamon, and hibiscus. It smells really good, guys. They look kind of like horrible, but when they melt down, they'll be they'll be nice. Um like I said, this is just like my first round of doing this. I don't know a lot um, because the grandmother that is helping me with this, she passed away. And I am a medium, so that's helpful. But um, I try to channel as much information as I can. So that is kind of like how I do it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys have a better method to do it, to make your own melts and waxes and candles, let me know. I would love to see a video response to this. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful evening, and I hope that you guys link your videos to your channel so I can watch them. I love watching other people's videos and supporting other people that put their love and tension into their masterpieces. Many blessings.